Vlog 453. Can you tell it's car show Sunday here in Malibu? There's a freaking cool car on every corner. This morning, I'm headed north to the Murphy Museum, going to a station wagon show. There'll also be pickups there. It's a gorgeous day. It's slightly cooler. Things are looking beautiful this morning. I plan on seeing some amazing cars and taking you guys along for the ride. Headed north on PCH. Let's hit it. Back up at the Merton Museum. Lots of cool stuff around. The station wagon show is outside, but I can't do anything right now because I really gotta go to the bathroom. Murphy. This is Greg. Uh, you have a, a, a beautiful Woody over here, but it didn't start out that way. It started out uh, a little bit different. That's what it looked like when it started. And this is what it looks like now. How long did it take you to do your part? About two years. Okay. And was that off and on? Was that every weekend? That was evenings and weekends and uh, Whenever you sometimes I worked on it, together. sometimes I didn't. Right. I always wanted a Woody as a kid. Uh, but why the, why the Pontiac as opposed to something else? It, it found me. I was looking for a Woody to build and the Pontiac came up. There's an awful lot of Fords around, but oh, not yeah. a whole lot of GM products. Oh yeah, yeah. especially Pontiac, it's pretty rare. Yeah. Yeah. There's actually a Woody club that's in Malibu and there's only one Pontiac out of about 30, 30 Woodies. That are Probably the veterinarian, Dr. Grobbing. That's him, yes. that's him, exactly. He helped me quite a bit building uh, this car with okay. uh, developing the spare tire wheel. That makes sense, makes sense. What's your best story with this car in about 30 seconds? My wife coming out to the garage and taking one look at it, shaking her head, walking back up the house and saying, you'll never finish it. <laughs> you showed her. It was a challenge. <laughs> Okay, this is Ron. Uh, he has one of the very few station wagons because it's also a pickup truck show. Right. But the wagons are the, we know the wagons are the coolest. Absolutely. Yeah. 
So you have a colony park. What year is this? 1957. Color is stunning. Well, what what was this original name for this color? Remember? I was afraid you were gonna ask that. <laughs> I can't remember. It's kind of a makeup color. It, it's actually correct. We took we took the original sheet, the the paint chips, and we uh, matched it directly. So yeah. now, how long have you had this? Nine years. Okay. And what possessed you to get this car as opposed to something else? Insanity. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, I've always liked them, and I, I saw one on a movie one day, and I just thought it looked so cool. I had to have one. I was just trying to find parts for it. Yeah. Next to impossible. <laughs> Not easy. Well, hanging out at the museum, they might help you be able to find some things. Good luck with that. You know, but you did make you made your way here, right? <laughs> you bet. So, that's your All I have to do is get home. Yeah. This is John, and he is the curator of this amazing Dewey Weber wagon. I purchased the wagon in uh, December of 1976. I saw it on the lot at Dewey's shop. A lot of famous surfers in Hermosa had them, and I wanted one as a kid. And uh, I stopped in, he wanted $300 for it. I gave him 300 bucks, <laughs> and I asked him, I said, Dewey, does it have any rust? And he said, oh, no, man, it doesn't. And I took it down to the local gas station and put it up. And uh, there was a reason why the bucket seats were tilted in. Uh -huh. The hole underneath was uh, rusted, uh, rusted out. So he got you, but you got it for 300 bucks. I got it for 300 bucks. It was what I wanted, and I could care less. And you, absolutely, you, you bought it in '76, yes. and you've had it ever since. Yes, it was okay. my daily driver for uh, a number of years. And in fact, I took it on one long surfing trip to uh, Cabo San Lucas. And how long did we have it? Uh, I, I, that I don't know. Okay. But it was called a plum duck because it was maroon. Dewey's uh, favorite color was purple. Uh, who, the, the surfer he bought it from, it was blue. He got drafted into the Marines and he didn't know he was coming back from Vietnam. So he sold it to Dewey. And when he, he made it back and Dewey, he came by the shop and Dewey says, uh, Oh man, you should see the car. He said, I went back and I looked at it and God dang it, he painted the thing purple. <laughs> and the name now sticks, the yeah. plum duck. Yeah, and, but you painted the cellar. I, I painted it, it's gone through uh, uh, three restorations and I'll be doing a fourth. Oh. But definitely the silver gray is uh, what really works for me on yeah. this car. Awesome, awesome. If you want to see Dewey's wagon, uh, the car will be on display here at the Murphy Auto Museum for the next three months or so. <laughs> That's good. Cool. Right? And the book will be here and a bunch of information. All the information. Nice, cool. nice. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very cool. Awesome. Amazing cars. Incredible cars. This is my buddy Ken. We're at the at the Murphy still. Um, you're, yeah, I guess you're a star now. Oh, probably. You know, everybody knows Ken. You guys, you guys do these great shows, right? Uh, which we're having a station wagon pickup show today, right? We are. Uh, they're smaller and a little bit more intimate, right? What's the best thing about doing shows like this? Well, we get a, a such an eclectic bunch of people bring their vehicles and stuff. We see vehicles we don't see before. Yeah. And. Uh, uh, we get a good crowd. I look forward to them every every time we do it, every quarter. We just never know what's going to show up. Yeah. Have fun. you walked out there and looked at them? Oh yeah. Okay. So if I could get the keys to any any one of them, which one would it be? Uh, there's a I think it's a Mercury Station wagon, right the pink one. <laughs> I love that. One. I think everybody wants that car. Yeah. 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 It's, it's very nice. Maybe he'll take us all for a spin. We'll all go to get an icy or something. That would be nice. Awesome. Okay. All right. Good job. Thank you. Very, very awesome show. Big thanks, David and Ken, for having me up there to the Murphy. Always love going to that museum, full of incredible cars. Uh, I like the intimate small shows, too. Very cool. It's Sunday. I still have some work to do, so I gotta head back to the boo. Kathy's working on her mermaid, and I gotta get something to eat because I'm starving.
Holy cow. Look at that. What are you doing? I'm making silicone. So this is the stuff we bought yesterday. Yep. Kathy's made a special goop. How many coats have you put on? Here, Tim. I put on two. Uh, two layers. And I, now I'm just going to go back in and fill little holes so that the plaster can come off easily. There's a mermaid under there. Mm -hmm. You get what you concentrate on, people. You get what you concentrate on. Let me say that one more time. You get what you concentrate on. What you focus on the most throughout your day is what you get. Case in point, this morning, before I decided to go to up to the Murphy Museum, I was talking to Kathy about how cool it would be to have a motorhome and to drive around the country and to see parts of the of the states that we haven't seen and how that could kind of be fun to vlog that and, you know and maybe meet some of you guys along the way or maybe do some car shows and different things kind of like a mobile vlog studio and we dropped it completely then we go up to the murphy museum i do the whole show and as i'm walking out david says hey by the way i got something for you and he pulls these out california rv show two tickets right there didn't even ask for them they just showed up that's how the universe works. Thank you, David, by the way, because we will be going to this. You guys can thank David Neal at the Murphy Auto Museum for the vlog that's going to be coming at the California at the California RV show. Two tickets. Wait, hold on. Perfect. And that's the way things work. You know, you focus on things. You don't have to worry about how they're going to come to you, about, you know, how you got to manipulate this and you got to twist that and you got to turn that. Just forget about it. Just focus on what it is that you want and just let it show up. Boom. Right there. That kind of stuff happens to me all the time. Billion dollar chocolate bar. Partially gone. Tomorrow is Monday. And as you know, I love Mondays because Monday is well, it's the beginning of the week. It means potential coolness can happen at any moment. But the things I do know, on Tuesday, I'm going to the Automobile Driving Museum. I'm picking up a 56 Cadillac. On Wednesday, I'm going to take it to Art Center. I'm going to be doing a speaking engagement with Wicked, with a bunch of other cars. It's going to be awesome. And then on the weekend, there's an, a show called Exiles, which is a motorcycle rat rod show out at Paramount Ranch. You guys are going to dig that show. And on the same day as Ponies by the Sea, which are Mustangs up in Ventura, I'm going to do my best to get to both shows. But the week is young. Anything can happen. And this is Vlog. 453. That's all I gotta say about that.